is one of the most successful businesses in the world, and now its biggest event, the Super Bowl, is being targeted by protesters, unions angry about a right-to-work bill. Joining us now from Atlanta, Fran Tarkenton, NFL Hall of Famer. Fran, you have been an outspoken opponent of municipal unions. What's their yes. beef with Indianapolis, which is staging the Super Bowl? Because they've, they've, they've got it made. I mean, they work 20 years. They can retire at the 90% of their salary for the rest of their life. There's no accountability. They don't have to work hard. They, they go up by seniority. If the NFL, uh, if their union was like a public union, the NFL would be broke. But the government kind of bails them out. But now that's getting to be problematic. And this was the first right to work uh, a state uh, a, a decision in 15 years. And, and it looks like Mitch Daniels is going to sign that into law and 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 they are angry but about it being a right to work state when we need to generate 20 million jobs but, but and, couldn't and, the, couldn't and, the and, nfl i mean couldn't the super bowl people and the state of indiana couldn't you turn that around after all you've got a showcase here you've got a massive audience 100 million people is going to tune into yep. this thing you've got a showcase to show look this is a right to work state it works we're attracting money we're attracting the super bowl we're winning folks we're winning you could turn this thing around yeah, and, and, and look how the NFL union works. I mean, you know, you've got to perform to get paid. Everybody doesn't get paid the same, and if you, if, you, if you don't perform, you get fired, and you don't get paid at all. That's the way it should work. There's accountability, and now, because of that accountability, and because of that meritocracy in the NFL, you've got a, 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 a league that is just off the charts successful in the worst economic conditions we can imagine. How many people, you know football far better than I do, that's for sure. How many people are going to watch this one? I, th I think the previous record was 111 million viewers. Mm -hmm. Going to beat that? I think they'll probably beat that. And, and you know, I, uh, during the Super Bowl, I'm down in the, in, in the French West Indies in St. Bart's, French Island. <laughs> and everybody <laughs> down there from all over the world are down there, and they all have the, the Super Bowl on television. And, uh, and all the restaurants that are down there, all the bars that are but, down but there, they have the Super Bowl. It's everywhere. This bothers my mind, my mind because Indianapolis could not have asked for a better m pairing either. People from Boston, people from no. New York are all going to come to Indy. They are going to pour so much money. They're going to pay $500 for a Best Western Hotel. <laughs> they are going to spend and spend and spend, and yet they're still That's complaining. Right. Oh, it's, it's ridiculous, and, and, and to disrupt the, the biggest American event there is, and you're right, the, the Northeastern fans are the best right. football fans in the world, and they'll come in there and, 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 and spend uh, tens and hundreds of millions of dollars, and, and it's just such a great event. It really is a positive, great event, and they're going to make fools of themselves mm -hmm. by going out there, infringing on the rights of people who want to enjoy this great event. Well, we hope you enjoy watching the Super Bowl from a French <laughs> island in the Caribbean by your pool. It's almost un-American. Yeah, it, it it almost un-American. They're degrees. watching the Super Bowl, so it's okay. I thought you were an American. Almost. Okay, all right. <laughs> Fran Tarkenton, it is always a pleasure to have you on the show, and we thank you for thank being you here today. It. Thanks, Fran. Uh, next, one of the co-founders of AOL on this